Doctor Strange 2 director Scott Derrickson has parted ways with the project after creative differences have been cited between him and Marvel Studios. Wow, the spice is real with this one. It's the craziest news of the day. Yo, this news is crazy. What's up, everybody? It's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Smash that like button and let's get right into this news. This is absolutely crazy stuff. I want to talk about what is actually happening, what fans are talking about, and where we're at now with Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness. Now, I'm over here at Yahoo Entertainment. I'm looking over at their article there. They are running this as an exclusive, talking about how Doctor Strange 2 director Scott Derrickson dropped out. They did publish this yesterday. But I think the actual exclusive was gotten by Variety, as they say in this article. Scott Derrickson is stepping down as the director of Marvel uh, Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness. Variety said uh, the studio has confirmed his departure in a statement attributing it to creative differences. Derrickson, who oversaw the first Doctor Strange, will remain on as executive producer. Now here's what Marvel said to Variety, talking about uh, the uh, situation. They said, Marvel Studios and Scott Derrickson have amicably parted ways on Doctor Strange in the multiverse of madness due to creative differences in a statement we remain grateful to scott for his contributions to the mcu derrickson also said the decision was mutual on twitter saying marvel and i have mutually agreed to part ways on dr strange and the multiverse of madness due to creative differences i am thankful for our collaboration and will remain on as executive producer now the thing is right now a lot of people blaming this dude a lot of a lot of people blaming this guy in fact kevin feige is currently trending on twitter and that trend will probably grow throughout the day. Bottom line, a lot of people are saying that this is probably due to stringent control that Kevin Feige did over the past couple of weeks, uh, maybe months, with, with what he is doing with Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness specifically. Now, it's totally true, and we talk about it all the time here on the channel, that Kevin Feige, what's his report card say, guys? Straight A's does not play well with others. He doesn't play nice with others. He has his own vision for these sort of things, and he's pretty stringent upon it. Now, I'm going to get into more speculation on this because I truly believe, like many others believe, that what was going on here was... Doctor Strange 2 is actually going to be more like Avengers 4.5 and it's going to be super big for the future of the MCU and therefore incredibly important as a total piece together. Now it's really interesting and we pointed this out on a live stream that I did on the Den of Nerds live earlier today where we were all just sort of talking about that. Make sure you go check out that channel for a lot of live streams and whatnot. But there were actually a few tweets from late last year that sort of painted a picture of some drama that was going on with Scott Derrickson and Marvel Studios. I'm going to put the tweets up here on the screen for you and let's go over them so on december 16th 2019 he said studio release dates are the enemy of art holy crap i think that's pretty freaking telling definitely something was going on man he was he was thinking very hard about this deadline that they had and everything they were trying to squeeze in there next up on december 19th scott derrickson said most major life choices come with major regrets it's unavoidable but the worst choice is not choosing at all hell is sitting down at the crossroads okay pretty freaking wild there right like he knows he has to make a choice there's a little bit of doctor strange kind of flavor in there so maybe you could see this as sort of a uh, just a writer or director kind of talking about his project but now in hindsight it really does believe that what he was talking about was being at a crossroads with marvel studios where they had a vision for the film and his vision for the film did not match up with that and then check this one out december 25th christmas freaking day he says hashtag thank you ryan johnson has been trending just a couple of days after he took time out of his vacation to talk with me at length about a personal situation i'm dealing with an astonishingly good filmmaker but also an incredibly gracious and incivious in 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 human being truly grateful for him okay weird weird tweet to make again, looking back in hindsight, it really does appear that this is what he was talking about. He was at a crossroads creatively with Marvel and he sat down to talk with Ryan Johnson about it of all people. Cause I, I don't know him and Johnson are boys or something. Um, I, I gotta be honest. I find that incredibly weird because it's almost the exact opposite situation of what happened with Ryan Johnson, where they gave him Ker Blanche. They let him do whatever he wanted with the last Jedi and the brand of star Wars suffered because of it. I actually liked the movie, but the brand of star Wars unquestionably suffered because they let Ryan Johnson do whatever he wants. That's almost the exact opposite of what's going on with Scott Derrickson. And my belief here 
is that Feige is really trying to create this new type of Avengers movie with the Doctor Strange film, and it is very important to what he is doing in Phase 4, and therefore being very restricted on Scott Derrickson. But I can't help but think that there was a little bit of a, a twinge of talk of how you can personally benefit when you're in these big branded positions here. And so uh, I have no doubt that Ryan probably told Scott to do what he felt was right. Right. And uh, probably walk away and also make it big, make it loud uh, so that you get some of the attention. Sorry. That's just how I feel. Now, the last bit of interesting information with regards to this situation comes from Kevin Feige's mouth himself. He recently sat down with the New York Film Academy and did a nice interview with them talking about the films. He was asked about Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness, and he had this to say. Multiverse of Madness is the greatest title we've ever come up with, by the way, which is one thing that's really exciting about it. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a horror film, but it'll be a big MCU film with scary sequences. Now, I'm going to paraphrase the rest of the quote because Feige sometimes Sometimes talks like in these broken sentences where he just really like trails on. I'm guilty of this myself, but basically he went on to talk about Raiders of the Lost Ark and how they literally made films PG-13. Like there was no PG-13 rating before some of those films around that era. And in that same way that you had this genre film that had really scary moments in it, that's what he wants to do with Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Now, the film was said to be the first scary MCU movie. That was clearly something that Scott Derrickson really cared about, something that Feige brought up to all of our attention. And it would appear that since that time of San Diego Comic-Con, where they were all hype on this and it was you know, making headlines about Scott Derrickson's vision and all of that, that something changed. That there was definitely a gap between what Scott wanted to do with the film and what Feige needed to do with the film. And here's the thing. Right now... <clears throat> A lot of people are uh, mad at this guy, right? They're they're mad at that dude because it's super obvious that that he's really the reason. If we look back at uh, you know Age of Ultron, even Thor two, different examples throughout the MCU, Feige's very stringent um, with what he does with the MCU, right? Obvious. That's likely what happened here, and I think a lot of signs point to the fact that the Multiverse of Madness will be an Avengers 4.5 type of film. There are rumors that Loki will be in it. There are rumors that the Illuminati will be in it. We already know Scarlet Witch will be in it and play a big role. Wong is going to be in it. It's likely to also include Scarlet Witch's children and maybe even more people that we haven't even guessed yet. So it's definitely an ensemble film of sorts. And if I'm right about what I think I'm right about, and that is that we will be going towards Secret Wars and or Battle World, and that something in the cosmos, something in the multiverse of madness is creating this big existential threat that will carry the next few movies after Phase 4 into Phase 5, then it just makes sense that Feige needs more control over this movie. And even though, obviously, we want filmmakers to be able to have their vision and make their films, it's also got to be said that you are working in billion dollar sandboxes when you take on one of these films. There is no way you can actually believe that they are going to just do whatever you want in these films because it's literally a part of this billion dollar franchise that they have created. We already know that when you sign up to do a Marvel movie, there are already established action set pieces. There are already directors that will go out and direct the action for most of these films. I've heard uh, this whole thing described by directors as like paint by numbers, that they don't even really have to do that hard of a job. But we also know that directors within that system have been able to figure out how to put creative visions and still appease whatever Marvel's trying to do. Look at Taika Waititi. You know what I mean? Look at Joss Whedon. I know like even though he struggled in Age of Ultron, I think when you go back and look at that film, it's actually much better than people give it credit for, and it works. Look at the Russo brothers. They're able to do all of this incredible stuff. Look at Ryan Coogler. That is a Ryan Coogler movie. Do you know what I mean? But it just happens to hit these certain things that they needed to hit within Marvel. I think that's par for the course. Now, the timing is weird, and I will admit that I don't know who they could actually get to come in and step in as the director. Now, with Scott taking the position of executive producer, it's clear that because he's staying on as EP, that a lot of his collaboration and vision will likely still come out in the film. Different things that he collaborated with Marvel about for the film will happen, but when it comes to like the script and hitting these certain beats, that's probably where it all fell apart, because he didn't sign up, or seemingly he didn't sign up to do an Avengers movie, he signed up to do a Doctor Strange movie and so it will be tricky to get someone to come in and replace Scott Derrickson at this point uh who knows I don't know who would want that job I wouldn't want that job but honestly 
My heart does not bleed for Scott Derrickson. Scott Derrickson will be fine. He's still going to get a big fat check for this film. And honestly, like, at this point, guys, we have to trust the process over at Marvel. This stuff happens all the time at different studios all across the board. But what Marvel has been able to do, and consistently for, I would say, at least the past five years, is create incredible product that really allows the viewers and the fans to feel not only completely immersed, but that everything they've watched before matters, right? It's a very difficult thing. It's unprecedented. But Marvel has become such a brand and almost like a television show that we're all watching via episodes of movies that we feel so damn invested. And that will continue to be the play, the thing. And I truly believe that Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness is a big, big deal for Marvel Studios. I think it's a huge film for them. And I think that they're right to put the creative sh shackles, so to speak, on whoever is trying to do this film. If Scott wanted to do something that would have just not allowed them to do the thing that they wanted to do, that's fine. Ultimately, the creative differences thing is really like, yes, Feige said you got to do it this way. And uh, Scott was like, no, I don't want to do it that way. And they walk, they both walk away from it, right? But I don't actually think that I'm nervous at all about Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness. I mean, at this point, just being real, Feige makes most of these movies. You know what I mean? Feige is really the creative force by a lot of these movies. And the way it all ties together, him and that team that he has, that's really what it's about. So is this a good look? Absolutely not. It's a bad look. There's no way you can spin this in a positive way. It's bad. But I certainly don't think it's the sky is falling level of bad news. I think they will find a sort of placeholder director, perhaps even bring somebody in that's really talented. That would be cool to kind of have a new name, maybe a young up and comer director or something. But overall, guys, that's the news. Scott Derrickson is out. Uh, we went over some of the, the things that sort of foreshadowed this. We went over the comments by Scott and Marvel Studios. And speculated, of course, about what I think is happening, and that is that the new movie is essentially going to be Avengers 4.5. And Scott's not down. You know what I mean? Scott's not down to make that, and they're going to find someone else that is down to make it. That's a paycheck for someone. It's potentially a big uh, step for their career. Plenty of people will want to step up and take this film. Uh, but again, I don't know how many like established creative names would come into this situation. So weird story. We'll keep an eye on it here. If there are updates, I'll bring it to you. But what do you guys think? I mean, are you in the camp like many people are that you think this is terrible news and you're really upset at Feige? I understand. If you're one of those people, I get it. I'm just not. Okay, so I got to be real with you, tell you the news, but uh, that's going to do it for this one. Of course, let me know your thoughts in uh, the comment section below. Now let's shout out DJ Titus. Indeed, Lockheed is the name of the little dragon that hangs out with magic in Marvel Comics. So shout out to you, man. And now let's ask another nerd card question before we get out of here. I want to know what science fiction movie did Scott Derrickson direct that actually starred Keanu Reeves? Came out a while ago. I thought it was pretty fun. But the question remains, what science fiction film did Scott Derrickson direct with Keanu Reeves in the lead? Answer that question in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.